So today we're gonna to be going over 10 of the strongest projecting cheap fragrances. This was actually a viewer requested idea. He dropped this comment probably a few days ago now and I thought it was a pretty good one. This is one that I know you guys like to see quite often. We all love cheap fragrances. We all love stuff that is affordable, but at the same time also has good performance. More specifically here, projection. For a lot of people out there, the whole point of wearing a fragrance is to get noticed. And if your fragrance isn't projecting, you're not going to get noticed. So we're gonna be going over 10 fragrances which are cheap. I'm talking under around $40 or so on discounters. And these fragrances also have to have really strong projection. So again, just keep in mind, these are all priced at discount prices. I will link all of them down below, taking you to discounters, mostly fragrance net. Typically they will have some of the lowest prices around along with Fragrance X, of course, as well to my go-to designers. Those links will take you over there. If you want to get these at a cheap price, you have to shop at discounters. You can't go pay retail for these because <laughs> they're not gonna be cheap. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. First fragrance up, we have Ferragamo Womo Signature. This one is a nice twist on that original Ferragamo DNA, which is a very sweet fragrance. This one is still sweet, but it has leather and coffee as a couple additional notes, which really help kind of tame it down a little bit. And it also gives it a bit more of a mysterious kind of sexy evening type of smell. The bottle on this one is the perfect representation of the fragrance itself. The original Womo is clear with black down the sides. This one is all blacked out and it looks awesome. And it is actually somewhat transparent or see-through, translucent, whatever the correct word is for that. So if you hold it up to any sort of decently strong light, you can actually see inside of it. So that way you know how much you have left just as a little aside, not that you may have been wondering that, but if you were, you could see through it, which is cool. So amazing, amazing, strong projecting scent. The sweetness that this one has is what's giving it that power and that strength to project out and push out, especially great in the fall and winter time in the cooler months. That's when this one shines best because it ha does have a lot of depth to it. If you wear this one in the spring or summertime, it's gonna be a bit too warm for that. I guess you could pull it off in early spring, but once you get into late spring and into summer, it's gonna be no-no for this one, unless you're wearing it climate controlled indoors, then you could wear this one. But when it comes down to it, this one is best in the cooler months. Fantastic one with a very good projection. At a low price as well, $30, $35 most of the times for this one. Ferragamo Womo Signature, awesome one. Up next we have Dunhill Icon Elite. Really nice bottle on this one. Again, looks awesome. Has a lot of heft to it, just like the Icon bottles normally do. You can see Dunhill up top, nice texture around it, and the bottom is glass, so you can see your fragrance level there. Uh, pretty cool bottles, I really do like these. And again, like I said, they really have some quality to them, some heft to them. One of the heavier bottles in my collection, and that goes for everything that I own, even niche bottles, really do like these. This one is all about some woods and a bit of a spiciness. Now this one is completely different than Dunhill Icon, the original, and that's just something I wanna make you aware of. You may be thinking, okay, it's gonna take that original DNA and just make it darker. Uh, that's not what this one does. It's completely different. So it's going to be more focused on those woods. It does smell nice. It's not my favorite of the Dunhills. I like the original Icon better than this one, but this one does have really good projection, whereas the original is a bit more mild. This one you can get, I wanna say for 35 to $40 as well, somewhere in that price range, making this one a great, great steal. The quality is awesome on this one, just like the other Icon fragrances. The projection is incredible, and it's another one that's really good for the more cooler weather slash mild temperatures. Uh, it's not too, too sweet, it's not too heavy. There's a bit of a freshness in here so you can wear it when it's a little bit more warm outside, but again, primarily for the cooler months for the most part. It's got a classiness to it, it is versatile, and another one that's affordable with great projection, Dunhill Icon Elite. Up next, we have a fragrance that I don't have anymore in my collection. Basically, the story behind this one was I decanted it, all of it out for the most part. There's just a very little bit left in the bottle, and I just kind of tossed the bottle out because it wasn't anything that I was going to wear, and I just didn't have any use for it. I don't have enough room to be keeping empty bottles around. I'm running out of room for my full bottles as it is. And anyway, this one is Azaro Wanted. Just the original Wanted, not Wanted by Night. That one is good but it's kind of pushing it for my budget constraints for this video in terms of being cheap. 
believe wanted by night even in 100 miles in the mid 40 range and that's pretty close to that mid price range which i really wouldn't consider cheap the original wanted i do believe you can get for 40 dollars and under uh, depending on if you get a tester depending on you know a lot of times that one will be on clearance on discounters so uh, under 40 dollars it's a nice scent not one of my personal favorites because it's very Invictus heavy with a bit more of an approach and focus on the lemon note. So it's very lemony, citrusy, just with this bubblegummy Invictus smell. But the good news about this one is it is a very strong performer, which is why it's in this video. Not just projection, but longevity. It's a killer long lasting fragrance for a really low price. If you're into the bubblegummy Invictus DNA and you want something that's cheaper than Invictus and has really good performance and a nice lemon touch, uh, check out Wanted. Just the originals are Wanted. It does do the job job really well that projection on that one is killer especially for the price it's a really good one for the price if you're into that sort of thing up next we have Ancre Noir a lox Dream. this one is a smoky vetiver fragrance to the complete max this stuff is strong it is no joke it is not for everyone uh, these uh, Ancre Noir fragrances the original sport and this one by Lalique I have all of them they're all really good bang for the buck the original, a lot of times, is on clearance at Fragrance Net for $20 for 100 ml, which is a killer, killer price for a nice, high quality vetiver scent. The Sport is really good too, and this one, the Lux Trim, is really, really good. It's the strongest and most daring of them all. I mean, you look at the bottle, it does have the kind of half black thing going on down at the bottom, and then you could see the dark colored juice in the middle of it which is probably why they left it you know just half i really like this bottle my favorite of all of all of them kind of reminds me a little bit of the yves saint laurent uh, fragrances in the all black bottle with this kind of matte finish it looks great uh, really you would not think that this only costs about 30 35 dollars which is where this one's at on discounters which is a great deal does go out of stock relatively often from what I've seen. So if it's one where you do see it pop up, you might as well get it if you have any sort of interest because chances are it's gonna be going out of stock again shortly after. Great, great vetiver, smoky, woody, incense, sexy fragrance. Not for the faint of heart, but if you're into this sort of thing, you want something daring with great, super strong projection and longevity as well, this one right here is awesome. Great bang for your buck. And one thing I do want to point out to you really quickly is it is a tester. You can see possibly tester is engraved right there into the back of the bottle. Maybe you can't quite see it. Maybe you could see it a little bit like that, but just take my word for it, it is a tester and it did come with the cap as well. So save even more money there by going that route. Following along, we have Azaro Wild Mint. So this is one of the few new flankers that they just kind of released all at once. It has a uh, Naughty Leather, Wild Mint, Ginger Lover, and there's a couple more, I think, two or three more or two more, something like that. I have this one and uh, Ginger Lover is the only two that I've picked up so far. I want to get a couple more. I think there's oh Amber Fever. That was one. Maybe one more as well. But Wild Mint, this one is awesome. It's got mint and patchouli is a couple of the main notes. There's one more note, which is a bit weird, which I don't remember off the top of my head. But I remember mint, obviously, and I remember patchouli because it gives it this chocolatey smell. So this literally smells like mint chocolate. You know, if you ever had like Andy's Mints, which is obviously the mint chocolate candy, uh, it smells kind of similar to that in a way. It just kind of gives you this chocolatey mint candy type of smell. It smells really nice, it is gourmand leaning obviously, and it is a very, very strong projector. This stuff is no joke. It is. It surprised me how strong it is. And it's coming from that super kind of heavy chocolatey patchouli in here in the base of this one. The mint really pops off in the opening. This stuff is a beast for a super, super low price. $20, $30, if even $30 on discounters. You can scoop this one up for almost next to nothing. It's a great one to have around and really good projection. And also really good longevity as well, which is a nice little bonus here for this one. Azaro Wild Mint amazing stuff. Up next, we have a fragrance which just smells incredible to me. It's another one that is a bit divisive. This is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. This one is, of course, Bentley for Men Absolute. One that I've been talking about just a little bit here lately. One that I've wanted to pick up for a long time because the fragrance that this one is inspired by, Gucci Porome, the original, Gucci Porome 1, with the kind of orange, dark colored fragrance, uh, is discontinued. I have a sample of it. Very fortunate to be able to try it. Uh, it is really hard to find now. 
but this Bentley does a great job at getting you super close. Oh man, that is just a work of art. I love this DNA. Uh, that Gucci was created when Tom Ford was the creative director of Gucci. That's when some of the best fragrances were made, in my opinion. M7, Rush, uh, Envy, Gucci Pour Homme, the original, like we were talking about. Beautiful, beautiful fragrances, all of which are discontinued now, which is just a huge mistake, but it is what it is. This one right here gets you close to it. Smells amazing. Has this dry woodiness. Some people compare it to like a pencil shavings type of woodiness, which sounds off-putting and maybe disgusting to some, but you really have to kind of you know, have a real passion for this type of thing, I guess, to be into the scent like this. If all you're after is the blue freshies, the compliment gators, this is going to be something that you'll probably want to steer the other way. But if you really like getting into some stuff that is different, that is maybe a bit challenging, that's just going to have you going back for more and trying to figure it out. Something like this one, Bentley from In Absolute, is an amazing scent. Strong projection, low price, $30, $35. A great longevity too as well with this one. One of my favorites from Bentley, the stuff is awesome. Up next, we have another Ferragamo. This one is F Black. One of my favorites from Ferragamo, I've really been enjoying the house lately. And they do make some amazing fragrances at low prices with good performance as well. This one right here is awesome. It's been around, it's been hyped. Uh, this one is lavender and pepper. That's a couple of the main notes about this one. Gets compared to Lanouille de Lome. Doesn't really smell like Lanouille de Lome other than the fact that it does have lavender and a bit of the spiciness in the opening, which I guess people kind of compare to a cardamom spiciness in the opening of La Nuit de Lome. doesn't smell really that much alike at all. This one's much more harsh and not at all a date fragrance, whereas La Nuit de Lome I see only as a date fragrance, so there's quite a bit of a contrast. This one's very strong, great projection, great longevity as well, uh, but projection on this one is killer. It'll cut through some of the coldest days with no problem. This is one of my go-to cheapies in the wintertime. Uh, wearing this one, like if you're walking down the streets of Chicago, is a killer fragrance in the wintertime, of course. That's something, when I went to Chicago a few years back, I took this one with me, walking down the street, hitting different restaurants and stuff, and just kind of walking around the city when it is cold and obviously very windy as well. This fragrance was just performing like a beast. Super solid for around $20 when it is in stock in the 100 mil. I do believe last time I looked, FragranceNet only had it in the 50 mil. So, you know, it's one we're going to look around for. Really nice scent though. Super strong projection. Good longevity as well. Nice one to have. Following along, we have Low Dissy Pour Ohm Intense. This one is all about the yuzu, citrus, and a nice smoky incense note. Kind of smells quite a bit like the original Lodissi Pour Homme uh, by Yasi Miyake, uh, but just with a bit more of a smokiness, more emphasis on a little bit of a dark quality, a bit of a woody facet about this one, whereas the original is all just yuzu and citrus. Ultra, ultra bright. This one kind of brings in a little bit more depth to it, which I prefer. It's also a bit more smooth. I find the original to be a bit sharp for me, for my personal taste. It's really not one of my favorites, but this one, really good flanker. And a lot of the Isimiyaki flankers are really good as well. If you do some digging, you can find some hidden gems. This one, while it may not be quite that much of a hidden gem, it's still really good. And projection on this one is awesome. It's also very affordable, like $25 on FragranceNet. I do believe it is on clearance, uh, meaning you can get this one for a great, great price. Awesome stuff. Following along, second to last fragrance, we have Mercedes-Benz Select. Of course, I had to throw this one in just because it does have those Aventus vibes, those hardcore Aventus vibes, but really good projection and longevity to go along with it. Nice fruity take on Aventus. Very bright, very sparkling. Smells incredible. If you like Aventus, you'll love this. If you don't want to spend that much money for Aventus and you want, and one, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best designer alternatives to Aventus, check this one out. I think this is better than Mont Blanc Explorer. It is a bit cheaper and it's much better quality. Explorer, it just doesn't work on my skin. It's just not very good in the dry down. Opening is good, dry down not so much. This one is good from the opening to the dry down. One of my favorite Aventus clones in terms of affordable ones. Mercedes-Benz Select, great performer, $30, $35 as well, I believe. This one is a gem for sure. Last fragrance up, we have one from Davidoff. This one is Run Wild. Another one with Invictus vibes, just like Azara wanted. Not one of my favorites because of that reason. I'm just not really into the Invictus DNA anymore. However, it's not about what I like. It's about bringing you guys affordable, cheap, 
strong projecting fragrances and this one is a very strong scent longevity is great projection is great as well it is a pretty loud fragrance and it's also very affordable being a davidoff it's good for people who like this type of dna like i said like with wanted uh, it's really one that gets the job done and if you're just worried about smelling good and getting compliments this one will do it for you it's got a nice presentation all around definitely better than the cool water bottles in my opinion because the cap does have a click it does click into place i don't believe the cool waters do that they're just kind of a press fit this one does click in there is some nice detailing on the cap and the bottle itself does look nice it looks a bit more expensive than the cool water bottles and some of the other davidoffs uh, the atomizer is okay didn't spray right away because it hasn't been sprayed in a long time gets the job done uh, you know good scent all around great great projection great longevity as well this one is killer for the price so guys i was gonna do it for me that was 10 cheap but strong projecting fragrances of course all on the designer side because we were staying under about 40 dollars or so so again hopefully you guys enjoyed this one they will be all linked down below as well so if you want to check any of these out pick any of these up hit those links down there they will take you to discounters so you can get these at the cheap prices that i referenced here in this video that's gonna do it for me thank you so much for watching stay safe stay healthy we'll see you tomorrow with another one take care